Hey guys, welcome to Convolution. My name is Khan, and it's time to check out some more Ruby, bro! Ruby Volume 6, Chapter 7, titled The Grim Reaper, bro. The Grim Reaper, we got a Grim Reaper right now, dude, Nani! Man, oh man, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm riding a roller coaster right now, and we're just heading up. We're just heading up on the freaking roller coaster, and we're trying to get to the apex, you know what I'm saying? Because I just recently, not recently, just a couple of hours ago, I just checked out Ruby Volume 6, Chapter 6, titled Alone in the Woods, which is by far one of my favorite episodes of Ruby, that's fire, bro! Because it's so freaking good oh my god the chilling atmosphere the, the weird spooky vibes the goosebumps the chills running down my spine the shivers bruh you know it's so freaking good it's so freaking good like rooster teeth you're doing your shit right you're getting the feel of volume six and now i can see why so many of you guys so many of you guys have been telling me to volume six con volume six you're gonna lose your mind when you get to volume six and that's literally what's happening i think i've completely lost my mind so to speak but uh happily i'm losing my mind you know what i'm saying take my mind rooster teeth take it all god damn it i love it i love the incline incline yeah incline in freaking quality of storytelling and plot movements and character developments and setting dude the setting the music bruh, you know what i'm saying the series is getting better and better and i freaking love it and it's awesome knowing that i have still have more than half this volume left and then volume seven to look forward to as well and then volume eight around the corner to bruh. anyways that's enough hype for me if you guys haven't checked out my reaction to ruby volume 6 chapter 6 links down in the description below as well as appears you guys can go and check that out before joining back with me i am loving this shit yeah as always if you guys enjoy watching these videos with me and chatting with me over in the comments hit that subscription button hit that like share the video with any other fans of ruby or Khan and other come join with join the wonderful community i've got, got going over over on my discord bro over over on my discord bro join the wonderful community and chat with us directly put more ruby memes there i'm gonna throw another ruby meme reaction video out as soon as i react to this as well as my next ruby chibi reaction as well and then it's a ruby meme video coming along your way i'm trying to throw a lot of ruby content coming your way because uh it's been a week where i was just like not doing anything ruby at all i was actually like just playing some games and like chatting with some friends seeing how everybody's doing with family members as well so ready to get into some more ruby man get to the content that i started with bro you know what i'm saying and also check out some of my gaming over on twitch if you guys are into ff7 remake i'm throwing over some uh gameplay videos on here as well so if you guys are into ff7 you know uh chat with me about the game over there i can't wait to see what you guys have to say let's go ahead and dive into ruby volume 7 6 chapter 7 the grim Re dude what the grim reaper bro is this a new type of grim a reaper grim bro holy freaking shit we thought the nuclear v or nuclear v i don't know how to pronounce it honestly i i watched some youtube videos on nuclear v and i that's how i pronounce it nuclear v nuclear v anyways um yeah is the grim reaper another uh thing like that or is it something totally different you know Ah, oh, dude. Oh, and also last episode, freaking Maria Calavera, bro. Freaking Maria Calavera with the silver ass, dude. Anyways, I'm I'm a little bit too excited right now because I just recently checked. Uh, not recently, just last a couple of hours ago, I just checked on Ruby Volume Six, Chapter Six, uh, and uh, and doing the discussion for it, and then rewatching this episode. So I'm on a hype train right now. Let's go ahead and king the chicka 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 forward. All right, in three, two, one. In case I forgot anything to say, whatever. Three, two, one, sun silhouette against the moon. Oh man, dude, this is going to be so good. Where do we go from here? Like, honestly, where do we go from here? And we haven't seen Team Juniper in like forever. Oh, that's why they sent her in. Oh, dude, I never caught that in the opening. They sent her in on Maria's eyes into freaking Ruby's eyes. Bro, dude, everything's always been panned out in the opening. I got to pay attention, more attention to these uh, Ruby openings. The freaking Torchwood Cat. Some of you guys said like, oh, did you catch the thing that flew by? I'm like, man, what are you talking about? Get, catch stuff that flows by in the opening. Little did I know. Salim. Austin lifetimes man Oscar you so cool bruh together someday soon rising like the moon damn dude hype Man, I don't think I've ever watched two episodes of Rupee on the same day, have I? 
<gasps> okay. Wait, what? Why are we back here? Why are we back here? Vernal? Oh no, Neo! I've got to get the relic before it can be secured in Atlas. Damn, it's dude. the only way that Salem... It's the only way we can accomplish our goal. Aww. Cinder feels a bit scorched. <laughs> You're not the only one who wants Ruby dead. Hmm. But unfortunately, Salem does not feel the same way. Does she, though? Does she not, though? I've been instructed not to kill her. But oh. you... Huh. You have no such orders. Damn, Neil looks so you good. You can do as you please. Interesting. Loopholes. Help me get to Atlas. Help me find her. And the rest is up to you. I just realized Cinder's wearing sandals. Damn, Neo! I just realized how short Neo is. So cute! Petite! I love it. Cinder is tall as hell. I hear wind. Where are we? Yo, what? Where are we? Looks cool though. Who is this? Crazy hood. Oh shit, what? What is happening? I don't know! Who? New care. Whoa! Okay, I don't care. Let's go. Yo, the 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 the, the, the two has a connected gravity. Damn. I don't know who this chick is, but she is my new favorite character. <laughs> Damn. Wow. Five. Oh no, it's still alive. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Holy crap, dude, I love her mask! It's like a day- OH! SILVER EYES! Dude! Wait a minute. Is this? No. Hold up. Dude, it looks like a Day of the Dead mask. Day of the Dead. I is this who I think it is? Yeah, the staff looks the same, the same, like, skeleton hilt. It is. It's a blast from the freaking past, yo! <laughs> Let's get this shit. Well, that's a fancy trick now, innit? Oh, sh Friday oh, comes sh with a price, shit. though, love. A reptilian-looking faunus lady? I don't think you realize who I am. Of course I do. You're the Grim Reaper. Oh, she's the- Oh, damn! And these are the last 60 seconds of your life. Uh, I think not! <laughs> damn! Yo! Oh no, her stemless. I mean, um, aura. <laughs> Dude, dark mold this shit. Let's go. <laughs> Dude. Oh, thank you, volume six. Thank you. Oh damn, dude. Her, her mask. Oh, that's how she loses it. 
Oh my god! Damn! Okay! It was a close call. Damn, that is brutal! Brutal AF, bro! You know, the only reason my master wants you dead is because of your eyes. Master? <laughs> well, seeing as you ain't got them no more, you might be able to convince me to spare your life. This bitch. <laughs> well, I respect that. I'll fight her to the end. <laughs> oh! With a stab in the back, let's go. <laughs> but I wasn't. Told you. Well, you guys I already went know to what I'm saying. Soon after. I can't believe it. You, you're the Grim Reaper. You were a legend. Ooh. And then you disappeared. How exactly does a legend just disappear? You never used your name. Never showed your face. Lots of us thought you were just laying low. Eventually, we came to accept that you were probably dead. But the stories about you... I based my weapon off of yours. What?! I wanted to be as good as the, the Sight Reaper. Well, I'm nothing but a disappointment. So you're well on your way. How can you say that? Child, a huntress is supposed to protect others to the bitter end. But after I lost my eyes... I only ever looked after myself. Even after my surgery, I was too afraid to fight. Afraid someone would find me again. Finish what the others started. Somebody was you hunting. You shouldn't aspire to be like me. Especially when some of you are clearly stronger already. Aww. It's comforting seeing that your generation seems up to the task of inheriting this world. I'm just sorry I didn't do more to leave it in better shape. Ah, oh, man, don't say that. Well, maybe you can do something now. Teach me to use my powers the way you did. Oh, <gasps> it's John. Oh, John boy. What? It's been a while. Holy oh. shit. Vomit boy. <laughs> wow, they finally made it. They're out of the woods. <laughs> oh, I love the music. Wow, can we see it? Can we see it? The view. Oh, that crow's got a smile on his face after such a wow! Look at that wall. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived in Argus. Ar Argus Limited, right? That's where we're headed from. Damn, that's a steep as freaking decline. You guys, gotta be careful. Holy shit! Wow. Okay, nice storage facilities right outside the freaking uh, the wall. <laughs> Nora. <laughs> ah, dude. Are you all okay? We oh man, team reunited at last. Wait, who's the old lady? Ah <laughs> oh, man, feels so nice to see the whole crew back together again. The two team leaders. We've been through a lot. Hey. I promised, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Oh man. It's good to see you guys. Must have been worried like shit. It's a lot bigger than I thought it'd be. Yeah. Oh shit. It's actually one of the largest. <laughs> that one guy's trying to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> Look no at way. this, it's freaking San Francisco. Wait, wouldn't it be hard to settle something this big away from the main kingdom? Well, it was. Whoa! Until showed up. Look at uh, this place! Early settlement attempts by Mistral didn't go well, but colonists from Mantle were able to help them brave the cold climate and return for goods that Solitas couldn't provide. Oh, the Argus Theater, Tryst in the Mist. City. 
while it still falls under Mistral domain. Atlas keeps a military presence here to help keep the people safe and to keep trade between the two nations steady. Interesting. Well, until recently. Oh, because they called back all their troops and shit? It's Mistral, but Atlas too? We should too? probably start looking for a ship. So, where have you guys been staying? Uh... <laughs> there you are! <laughs> Is that... A... Sam. <gasps> Oh! No! <laughs> it's one of his sisters! I can't believe I'm meeting your sister! I have so many questions. <laughs> Holy oh, shit, what a surprise! Later. Will you guys knock it off? What? I love telling stories about my baby brother. Aw, dude, it's a yeah. big sister! One of the I big am sisters. not a baby! That is a baby. <laughs> True. Aww. Look at the cute little baby. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Adorable. So, Saffron, you're the only Ark living here? Yep. Right. Move the second I could. Jean and I are the Damn, only Damn, I away from help. Home. I guess he just wanted oh, to Oh, two of them are twins. Sis. I, uh... Aw, you didn't deny it. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, <coughs> this is my wife, Terracotta. Terracotta? Nice Terracotta? Why, hello there. Wow, quite a party, you weren't kidding. Hun, can I get some help, please? And you're sure it's all right if we stay with you? Of course. Hey, they're making We're food together again. Sandwiches. You all risk so much to keep people like us safe. It's the least we can do. Especially for such an elite huntsman like yourself. <laughs> Although I will say I was surprised to learn you had students helping you. Is that even legal? <laughs> Don't talk to him about legal, bro. Think of it as an extended training mission. Trust me, I was a professor. Even went to the same academy as them. And let me tell you, these kids are way better than we were. <laughs> it's like it's like Wolverine well, and this kid. Me specifically, <laughs> but I like. Yeah. Shut up! There's food. <laughs> yes, shut up! There's food. <laughs> Nora's gonna eat most of it. Excuse me, I'll be right back. Hello? Nice, we get a nice chill Is episode. Is everything okay? Oh, yeah, it will be. <laughs> the baby. Tara's a technician for the town's relay tower. Oh. Unfortunately, the military's radar system is also housed there. Guess what's been on the fritz lately and who's getting falsely blamed? <laughs> me. <laughs> me. <laughs> so, what's your plan for tomorrow? Well... We're trying to make our way to Atlas. We'll probably start with the military base. So, we kind of already tried that, and it didn't go super great. Come on, it couldn't be that bad. Okay, well apparently it was that bad. Close, <clears throat> that's it? The ep end of the episode already? Oh, it was only like 15 minutes anyway, it's great. Freaking great. Why? Because I'm still against the moon, Grim Reaper! Wow. This episode was as much hype as it was relaxation. Because we got introduced to freaking the town or city or whatever of Argus Limited. Or no, no, the train is called Argus Limited. The city is called the town of Argus. Because it's like a giant, like, fortress walled off location. Basically, the military might that's in charge of the city is Atlas. But it's still technically a part of Mistral. But it's not as occupied by Atlas as it once was. Because, uh, uh, what do you call, uh, General Ironwood has called back most of his troops to, you know, Atlas. Because he's, uh, so something? I don't know, but... Uh, uh, even uh, what do you call his main general winter was called back out of mistral as weiss learned from ravine raven but um it's cool that we get to see another cool looking city and this one looks like san francisco with all the trolleys moving down that one fool was like hey hey wait up you know what i'm saying it's a really cool design we got to see like argus uh theater we got to see like you know some other different various locations you know and it's, it feels like a lived in world there's a lot of people a lot of like you know city folks like you know people are working on like construction there are people on shops and stores we see like this giant uh mountain in the distance and that literally leads into like the military stronghold which uh, the um, they're trying to get into that sort of closes the door on them. You know what I'm saying? So how are they going to find a plane to get to Atlas? Because that's the end goal, right? I'm guessing the end of this volume is going to be them going to Atlas. B 
because like this whole volume has sort of been pushing and moving towards there. And now that they're in this new city, I'm guessing we're gonna spend a little bit of time in this city because why would you introduce us to this glorious new looking uh, environment without spending a little bit of time there just like we did in Brunswick Farms. At least a couple of episodes, especially now that freaking John's sister, her older sister is there. That's so cool. We get to meet John's older sister's family. This new little cute baby. Her, her wife is named Terracotta. Terracotta, like, isn't Terracotta? Terracotta is the, um, the material right like but it's you the, I, I obviously the thing that hits my head is like the terracotta soldiers from you know the old uh chinese uh, memorials and stuff like that we get to see more of john john's familia bro john's family you know it's so freaking cool man i i, I always wonder it's like are we ever gonna see jo oh you know what just hit me are we gonna learn more about john's like uh lineage you know like his grandparents and shit like his sword and shield passed down by the john arc line for generations you know so i'm super down to see what more information we can get out of like john's family and stuff we get to see a family portrait it's crazy we got to see a family portrait in what he called uh in brunswick farms and now we get to see another in uh what do you call uh john's sister's house you know like we get to see him holding like the sign of help and all his sisters running around we get to see why john is the way john is you know what i'm saying uh th this episode was fun but but let's go ahead and talk about the freaking hype of this episode which is freaking maria calavera bro with the freaking grim reaper son so it gets revealed to us that freaking uh, Crow Bronwyn based off his weapon, based his weapon off of what do you call uh, Maria Calavera, aka the Grim Reaper, you know, a name undefined. And then uh, Ruby, uh, uh, you know, figured her weapon, you know, Crescent Rose out of what do you call the Harbinger. So by the transitive property, Ruby based her weapon off of Maria Calavera and now Maria Calavera has silver eyes. It's like this elaborate triangle of destiny. You know what I'm saying? Coincidence? I think Think not you know so it's like a lot of cool shit that's happening right now but man oh man am i excited to see where this moves forward man dude silver eyes it's like the legacy the legacy of the scythe bruh legacy of the silver eyes bruh dude i i really hope maria like uh, schools it's crazy because like ruby is so such a, an optimistic fella and maria like states that like you know i'm glad that you know your future generations are so much like uh, 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 uh up to the task of taking care of this world because she feels like she abandoned it but i don't really blame her i mean she lost her eyesight one of her like you know the one of the things that gave her an edge in battle you know because she was kicking that nevermore's ass but that nevermore str struck back against her and that's when she activated the eyes and like man oh man there's like so much you can break down there what really gave me the clue for maria it being being Maria Calavera simply because okay her appearance you know the mask the ma Maria Calavera it's like a, a very Spanish like name right though the mask that she's wearing is it, it looks like one of those day of the dead type of masks or day of the dead type style um what do you call uh artwork that you know a lot of uh you know people have when they celebrate the day of the dead also, another big thing was the freaking, uh, the, the, obviously the silver eyes gave it away, but also, you know, it, her weapon, the hilt looks like that same uh, skeleton with the same type of symbols as, you know, Maria's staff thing her cane you know oh what if her cane actually transforms into a scythe oh, of course it transforms into a scythe but is it is also a gun yes it's a that, you know uh what do you call it I, i'm just like a lot of these ideas like like striking my mind lightning striking at various points so a lot of my ideas are just sporadic but um super excited man this these last two episodes have been incredible we get to learn about maria how much of a badass she was dude dude she took on like four people at the same time four four assassins at the freaking same time and she still came out as a victor yeah she lost her eyes which is an incredible loss for a warrior of silver eyed warrior and we got to focus on that but damn dude throwing that sight pressing that button calling it back decapitating that bitch you know what i'm saying so like she literally had like a little time clock it's like 60 seconds till death and then maria's like no bitch wait wait till you see what i do in the 61st second son you know slice and dice your ass but that was so freaking cool a reptilian faunus very interesting very interesting uh, look to her you know what i'm saying 
I don't know, like, I'm, I would assume, like, uh, a lot of these characters, like Maria Calavera, even this reptilian faunus would be based off of some sort of fairy tale like character. I'm guessing Maria Calavera is definitely based off of something. I mean, yeah, her title is literally the Grim Reaper, but is she literally based off of the Grim Reaper or something else? I would assume, yeah, her origin is maybe, like, uh, attached to, like, a Spanish fairy tale, you know, maybe, like, uh, who was the Spanish um, Grim Reaper? One of the, one of, was it Magda? No. No, I'm, I, I don't remember. There's the, the uh, Spanish folklore and Spanish tales have a lot of like uh, you know different uh, interpretations of death and like different uh, spirits and deities of death. You know what I'm saying? So like different angels of death. Some of them are very uh, benevolent. Some are malevolent. You know, it, it differs from time to time. I gotta deep dive into some lore stuff. You guys are welcome to share uh, those down below as well. But man, oh man, there's some good shit. I love Maria Calaveras as a character. She looks freaking amazing. And at the end of the episode, you get to see a lot of the artwork for uh, this new character as well, like the, the reptilian uh, the reptilian lady as well, you know, like the mohawk. And her teeth, she literally broke, um, bit uh, her her staff in half, you know, because she put her staff together and then the reptilian chick bit the staff away. So I don't know, she based off... Uh, yeah, this crazy shark teeth and shit. I don't know, man. Uh, you, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it to you guys to uh, determine what's going on. But she literally looks like, you know, uh, like a reptile. The reptilian inside of a scale-like creature, you know what I'm saying? With, with wielding, like, you know, uh, what do you call, two fencing-like weapons. So very awesome design very awesome design the other three guys the henchmen that she had with her to try and take out maria look like very generic type of you know huntsmen slash assassin like dudes we were taken down fairly easily but she seemed like she had proper training and she said her master sent her to take out the silver eyes specifically and she said oh you got no silver eyes anymore maybe i'll let you live you know she was toying with her so taking out silver eyes who is in the market for silver eyed warriors maybe it's salem i don't know maybe salem doesn't like silver Right worries because they are literally an, an uh, antagonistic force to her grim you know what i'm saying so maybe it's salem or maybe it's somebody else that we just haven't been introduced to yet new shit every time we get some new shit we get a hell I mean, every time we get an answer to something we get like a million other questions you know but that's just the way a good show is supposed to roll you know they give you answers but they throw you a million other questions along the way so you can theorize and think about stuff going forward that's the, that's awesome man these two, last two episodes just Per, you know, pervade to me why volume six is such a god tier level of a season of anime, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I freaking love it. What else is there to discuss? So we got the new city of Argus Limited. We gotta see exactly, uh, I mean Argus, not Argus Limited. We gotta see exactly how Team Ruby figures their stuff out, you know, like how are they gonna actually get to Atlas, you know? What's gonna be the climax of this season? Because we're still only like halfway into the season right well this is volume six chapter seven there's like what 13 episodes to this volume i think yeah 12 or 13 something like that so we still got half way to go so there's a lot of good story yet to be told we got to see oh of course what i uh, the, the way this episode started off freaking cinder and neo cinder still talking that smack he's like you know what you're not the only one who has a grudge on ruby I'm trying to inceptionize what he called that idea into ruby uh neo's mind that you know put your anger on ruby not on me even though i hired you know your uh beloved into you know uh fighting against Against Ruby because we got to remember some of you guys mentioned this in the comments last time Torchwick was saying that it's not, it's not that you know I'm doing this because I want to it's because I have no choice you know Torchwick that, that was one of Torchwick's final words you know yeah he's like a thug but he's like a you know he sort of has a some sort of a moral compass where Cinder is just pure evil you know so where Cinder wouldn't care about killing babies I assume Torchwick would that let's just put it like that you know so and the, the, the Neo dude I just love Neo's look and she's just so cute and tiny and I love her you know compared to cinder she is like half cinder size you know what i'm saying but i love it i freaking love it and cinder tall cinder tall cinder fall cinder tall ha anyways um moving on <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm still on hype i'm still on volume six hype because it's been a while since i've checked out two episodes of ruby at the same no 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 actually i did check out I checked out four episodes of Ruby on the same day for the last couple of episodes for Ruby Volume 12. So this is not the first time I've checked it out, but the hype is very similar to that. Anyways, so uh, Cinder, I don't know if Cinder is going to have a falling out with Salem, Salim, you know what I'm saying? So it'll be interesting to see where we go with Cinder because the way she, uh, you know, manifested her ideas to what you call us, uh, Neo, was that she was saying that, hey, you know what, maybe... Maybe uh, we got we got to do something for ourselves. Maybe we don't do it for Salem, but we got to do something for ourselves. Either we do it, or because I think 
I don't know where Cinder is headed. Mine is headed. It, does she want to do something to get back in Salem's good graces? Or is, is she all in it for herself right now, you know? Who can say? Who can say? Oh, and going back to one thing that you guys mentioned, since we did start off in the... Um, we did start off in the Spring Maiden's Chamber, is that one of you guys said maybe the Spring Maiden's Chamber is actually the God of Light's domain. You know, we see the flower, we see the tree, and we see the water underneath. One of you guys were saying that, um, so actually several of you guys were saying that maybe the fact that Cinder fell into the water, that maybe Cinder did die after having her heart like iscalized by freaking Raven. Maybe the waters revived her to a certain extent. You know what I'm saying? And maybe it's just it just looks the way it does. It doesn't look like a pool anymore, but a pool that is sort of uh, deep decreased in its size because of simple time passage you know maybe this is the domain of light and simply because like it looks so beautiful but it doesn't look as radiant as it once did it's a cool idea it's a cool idea i don't know if i'm 100 percent completely sold but it's going places that's a really great theory and uh for them to start off the episode right there it's basically cinder explaining to neo everything that's happened i'm surprised vernal's body still ain't there i'm guessing raven came back and took it away later or something or did it just like vaporize or i don't know man no bodies don't just vaporize the last episode showed us that you know when apathy and stuff uh, there were literally skeletons in um in uh in the underground passageways in the underground tunnel sewer system of the city of uh, village itself man oh man these last episodes have been good maria calavera i cannot wait to see some yoda luke scenes with maria and uh, ruby we need uh, maria to teach ruby exactly how to do her stuff because can you imagine a silverized warrior uh, a, 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 um, a truly realized silverized warrior you know teaching ruby dude this is exactly what ruby needs this is exactly what he needs and it's nice to see that even in this episode Speaking of Ruby, Crow is also smiling a little bit more and we can hope a little bit more positivity for Crow going forward. Hopefully, hopefully. A change of setting is definitely what they need because that village, Brunswick Farms was sapping every day, all of their shit away. And I love like um, that we get to literally see a, like a nice hilltop, a deep horizon, sunset, wonderful colors, kind of, you know, purveying this idea of, you know, rejuvenated energy for Team Ruby. Beautiful setting, beautiful environmental design. Uh, but I, I'm still wondering how Team Ruby got down that steep ass slope, man. Can you imagine? Why did I wish Rooster Teeth would show us that? <laughs> I would. It was so fun to see. We everybody just go down. Anyways, my mind my mind is all jumbled up in the place. What what, what else do we have to talk about? We talked about um, John's sister. Family looks great, and now they actually have a place to stay. Sandwiches, bro. Sandwiches. Uh, Cinder and Neo. Neo. I'm still hoping for Neo to come back and stab this bitch in the back. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, of course, you know the Silver Eye talk, which is absolutely awesome maria calavera as the grim reaper freaking phenomenal i wonder if we're gonna actually see maria do some old school you know like you know even in an old age is she gonna do some action going forward i don't know it's gonna be pretty cool to see though regardless what did you guys think leave your comments down below i'm spent i am spent after two episodes of ruby and like theorizing and like talking all that shit i'm i'm spent so i'm gonna um check out some ruby chibi uh next and uh refer to you guys in your comments so you know Chat with me down below, come over to Discord, share your ideas over there as well. Check out some uh, gameplay. Uh, hopefully I can get like a video uh, system for my PlayStation 4 very soon so I can chat with you guys and uh, you guys can see me directly uh, while, most, while I play some of my games as well. I'm gonna try and get Grimmy Clips as well. I think it's very cheap right now. So hopefully we can do some fun gameplay videos going forward in a couple of months, you know, nothing very soon, but yeah awesome ass episode and we have chapter eight to look forward to as well and another ruby memes reaction so a lot of cool ruby con coming your way hope you guys are having a wonderful day or a wonderful night wherever you guys are i'll see you guys later bye thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it please subscribe hit that like button and feel free to share the video and i'll see you guys next time